e physics class presented by fatima convent high school chapter 10 light reflection and refraction let us study the last topic of this chapter that is power of lenses power of lens now what is power of lens we have already learned that the ability of a lens to converge or diverge light rays depend on its focal length for example the convex lens of a short focal length bends the light rays through the large angle by focusing them closer to the optical center similarly a concave lens of very short focal length causes higher divergence than the one with longer focal length the degree of convergence or divergence of light rays achieved by a lens is expressed in the terms of its power the power of lens is defined as the reciprocal of its focal length it is represented by letter p and the power p of a lens of focal length f is given by formula p is equal to 1 upon f so did you understand what does it say that the convex lens of short focal length bends the light through a larger angle by focusing them closer to the optical center and concave lens of very short focal length causes higher divergence than the one with longer focal length the degree of convergence the degree of convergence or divergence of a light ray achieved by a lens is expressed in terms of power and you can define power as one more definition as the reciprocal of its focal length which is represented by letter p and the formula for power p is 1 upon f the si unit of power of a lens is diopter it is denoted by letter d if f is expressed in meters then power is expressed in diopter thus one diopter is the power of lens whose focal length is 1 meter 1d is 1 meter per second you may note that the power of a convex lens is positive and that of a concave lens is negative very important for you to remember this You must have seen the opticians or your spectacle cards where these types of symbols and signs are given. Opticians prescribe corrective lenses indicating their power. Let us say that the lens prescribes have power equal to plus two point zero d. This uh, means that the lens prescribes is con convex lens. The focal length of the lens is plus zero point five zero meters. Similarly a lens of power minus 2.5d has a focal length of minus 0.4d 4m this is a concave lens so the positive and the negative sign represents whether it is a concave or a convex lens many optical instruments <coughs> consist of a number of lenses they are combined to increase the magnification and sharpness of the image The net power p of the lens replaced in contact is given by the algebraic sum of the individual power p1 p2 p3 or p is equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 till infinity. The use of power instead of focal length for lens is quite convenient for opticians. During eye testing an optician put several different combinations of corrective lenses of known power in contact inside the lens spectacle frame the optician calculates the power of the lens required by simple algebraic addition 
For example, a combination of two lenses of power plus 2.0D and plus 0.25D is equivalent to a single lens of power plus 2.25D. The simple additive property of the power of lens can be used to design lens system to minimum certain defect in an image produced by a single lens. Such a lens system consists of several lenses in contact is commonly used in design of lenses of camera, microscopes and telescopes. So you understand how we can use various ways the property of light in our day-to-day -day life. Thank you.